Well folks, today is a big day here at the shop. Now we've been here for a little over two years and haven't done a lot of crazy equipment upgrades. We got some ESOP welders last year. We've had a plasma table, um, regular manual lathe and a manual mill. But today we are getting our first major piece of equipment and it's a massive CNC lathe. Now, this thing is huge, so we had to hire a company to haul it here, and we had to get somebody with a mega forklift to put it in the shop. And we only got like 30 minutes before everybody else gets here to start work for the day, so we're gonna get this stuff fast. Pick it up, no problem. Wow. You ever wondered what a 40,000 pound forklift looked like? That's what that is right there. They said that they could pick 100,000 pounds off the forks of that thing with a bunch of counterweights. That's mega. So they picked 100,000 pounds with it before. Uh, I could see it, that's a beast, man. So they stack, stack counterweights on the back of it, like 5,000 pounds at a time, as tall as they can. Like we have no reason to have one, but I really want one. Yeah. <laughs> In case you just want to like, you know, move the RV. Yeah, you never know when you just want to pick up the building. <laughs> well, we've had a huge increase in production and uh, to be able to keep up, we bought this really nice lathe. Unfortunately, uh, none of us know how to use it. <laughs> so. We're pretty, uh, we're pretty fart smellers. I mean, smart fellers, and I think we'll figure it out. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, it, it's a, it's a beast. I mean, it's a, it's a. We went all in on this machine, and I think that it's going to really help us build better products and stuff like that, and, and help us get stuff to the customer a lot faster. And uh, hopefully, we just figure it out because yeah. <laughs> it's like jumping headfirst in the water. Yeah. I mean, because the, the only limit on this machine, I mean, it does everything. The limit is us. Oh, yeah. No, this thing has every access you could buy for one. So, I mean, it's it's got pretty much all the bells and whistles on it, and it'll be able to do some stuff that's really cool. So all of our custom buggies will have a little bit more flair on them from here on out. It's hitting a lick. <laughs> so how nervous are you right now with them picking up a... $80,000 piece of machine. As nervous as I can be. Like a dream come true for me like some people want to grow up and do certain things like take vacations or whatever like i've wanted one of these since i've seen one of these <laughs> and you know this is like this is my day right here yeah. um, so i'm be sleeping in this thing like for making cookies really <laughs> This is where it's gonna sit. It'll probably never move from this spot because we don't have anything heavy enough to move it. Everything working. Did you bring a 98? I don't care. We can get these right off of a whirlpool refrigerator. Yeah? 
<laughs> That's <laughs> what it looks like, huh? It looks exactly like a whirlpool. But, um, we really don't know how to do anything with this. No, no. <laughs> like I've, I've it's run pretty them though. I've run them before when I was in college. It's been a long time. But uh, it's yeah, definitely going to be. Um, how do they say? I can't say it on camera. A learning curve. I was going to say a monkey. There's definitely going to be a learning curve, but that's okay. We know people that know what they're doing. We're just going to have to become the people that know what they're doing. That there is a chip blaster 5000. <laughs> I mean, I know that it blasts chips because of the name, <laughs> but I'm not really too sure what it does. <laughs> Jake's so excited about his new machine that he's gonna he's gonna wash and wax it first. You're like Mr. Clean. Magic eraser, man. You guys need to sponsor us. These things are amazing. I would totally tempt these. Between these and Crocs, come my favorite product, Andy Subwell. It's alive! I'm in over my head. <laughs> What's the current situation? Uh, well, um, there's a whole lot of buttons. Um, you don't know what any of them do. Don't really know what, I but, mean. But the machine started and you got power to it. So that's, we've, yeah. we've made a step in the right direction. Yeah, and I'm still trying to figure out, like a lot of the stuff, I really don't, I really just don't know. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to work all this and then we can start making some cool stuff. Now, this is the very first program that we've turned on this lathe. And we're turning some carry bearing shafts down and it is uh nerve-wracking because it's very expensive and i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> so here at busted knuckle off-road we are producing these carry bearing kits which you can go online and check out how those work and everything but uh we we ended up getting this big lathe specifically so that we could run parts like this because the volume that we're going through has just gotten to the point where it's so high that we had to justify of, of a piece of equipment of this size so we basically get our carry bearing housings built. Um, we have a guy who takes care of these for us and mills them out. And we'd put our two bearings inside there. But one step that we run into all the time are these, these shafts. So this is the shaft that goes in the carrier bearing kit. It basically presses through this hole and that's what your yoke goes onto. Um, but what we have to do is we have to take it from that and turn it down to that size right there specifically because a dry shaft of this size is usually really hard to put into a buggy just because the diameter makes it so difficult to snake through your chassis so we actually turn it down to this size right here and this operation on our old manual lathe usually took at least 30 minutes and now we're taking this and turning it into this in less than two we're going to go start to finish on this piece right here just to show you how the process goes we're going to load this thing in, hit the button, we're going to close our doors, green for go, cycle start. Clock is hot. Minute 48. There it is. 